Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Skipper Let's Play. So in the last episode we helped Emily make some friends. She invited some of her family members over to create a little club called the Kids Club. So she's got a little group of friends now. She has a best friend called Rose and I think I mentioned before that one thing Emily really wanted was to go on holiday to Mount Komarebi to experience the kids festival. So Skipper, you know, she did a few extra massages, she's been saving, and she's surprising Emily with a little trip to Mount Komarebi so she can experience the festival. So today, we're gonna go on vacation. In fact, if I take a look at the calendar, it looks like the kids festival, the festival of youth is happening tomorrow. So we do have all day today, but that's okay, we can just experience Mount Komarebi. It looks like the Festival of Snow is going to be going on, so we could check that out. Our sister Stacy is going to pop by and feed the cats while we're away. Okay, Mount Komarebi. 757 per day. This one's 665. That's a bit cheaper. Okay, we'll go for this one. We'll go for this one. And we will stay for two days so that we'll still be around for the youth festival. Oh, a pet sitter will be taking care of Hayden and Chloe during your vacation. Yeah, I know, it's going to be Stacy. Okay, so this is our accommodation, Emily. Hope you like it. But for now, it's like, what, 9am? Why don't we take a little stroll through the bamboo forest? It annoys me that she can travel with just anybody who isn't even on vacation with her. That, that bothers me. I mean, I know why, because Sims can travel anywhere, but don't break my immersion now. Let's go to the park and then we'll take a wander around the bamboo forest over there. Bit cloudy today. So should we maybe hike to the bamboo forest together? Yeah? What do you say, Emily? You fancy a little hike? Stop playing. We're here on vacation. We have to see the sights. When my husband and I are on holiday, I usually take over the planning because, um, I don't know, I get a bit crazy when we're on holiday. I'm one of these people who wants to cram everything in so that we can see literally everything possible. I'm quite a laid back person generally, but when I'm on holiday, completely different story. When I'm on holiday, it's not relaxing, very busy. So we're gonna go see the bamboo shrine or the bamboo forest. Maybe we'll see one of those little um, spirit things. Oh, I hope they get a sentiment saying they went on a hike together. You two are just so cute. I kind of feel like their relationship has changed, you know? Like when Emily was still a little baby and Skipper was hesitant as to whether or not she'll keep her. I feel like as time's gone on, they've now kind of blossomed into the kind of relationship where Skipper is like a real, not overbearing, but overprotective mum, you know? Like they just do everything together. That's how I see this relationship blossoming. Just take it all in. Take in the bamboo forest. Should we um, collect these? Actually, no. I feel like Skipper wouldn't, wouldn't want to do that. Let them live in their, their natural environment. Instead, we'll just make a wish. Emily, why don't you make a little wish as well? Just don't wish for anything unreasonable, you know, like your dead parents coming to life, because that's not going to happen. Sorry. What beautiful views. And now we're running back to go and make a wish. Then maybe I guess we'll get something to eat. Oh shit. <gasps> Emily is under attack. Having a higher fitness skill or jar of crawling critter powder can help avoid future pain. Crawling critter powder. Oh no, that's not good. You know what'll make you feel better? Maybe a little barbecue. Why don't we go back to the park and have a little holiday barbecue? Like a uh, asado. Let's go get some asado. Enough time has passed since Skipper dropped out from university. She can enrol in class again. Okay, I think she might actually when she gets back from her vacay. I think that's probably a good idea. Now that Emily isn't so dependent on Skipper. Well, Emily's not doing too great after her shocking encounter. Don't worry, Emily. A little bit of food, you'll be right as rain. Why would you guys not sit together? Why would you sit at separate tables when you grabbed a serving together? Don't make no sense. Should we maybe go check out the shrine? You feel like you're up for another another hike there? And then maybe once we finish looking around there, we can, um, we can check out the Festival of Snow. That would be fun. 
Maybe we'll get some kimonos. Maybe we'll make a snowman or something. It'll be great. It'll be a great time. I like how when they're hiking, they like stop to have a chat, to have a little look around. I think it's pretty sweet. Okay, let's stop this hike because that's not actually the shrine I wanted you to go to. I wanted you to go to this shrine here and then we can, um, we can write a wish in there. Oh, Lola's calling. She has a huge crush on me. Well, I mean, I did kind of think that, Lola, but um, let's just be friends. Let's write a wish together. And then you know how, like, the old house just kept on deleting photos around the house? I might get Skipper to take a, a nice picture of Emily, maybe. Like a little holiday snap. There we go. Sassy. Little photo by the wishing shrine. I do feel like the photo system needs a complete overhaul. <laughs> like, I wish there was a lot more you could do with angles and shit but you know what it is what it is well it's getting late why don't we go to the snow festival and then maybe we'll get an early night so that we're rested ready for your little kids festival so let's just go to the onsen and then we'll wander to the festival from there maybe we'll get emily one of those little simmy things oh look festival of snow's kicking off packed full of people right let's go here together and we will greet the uh, Yamachan. Emily can ask him for a capsule. Why is she sad? Some wishes never come true. Well, I told you not to wish for your parents to not be dead. I told you that. Emily, don't worry. Why don't you just come and ask the Yamachan for a little capsule? Who is calling now? Barbie Carson's calling to chat. Yeah, fine. Skipper, you can have a chat with Barbie while Emily gets herself a, a little free toy from the Yamachan. And then sh maybe she can take like a selfie with him or something. Why don't we open our simi capsule there, Emily? Oh, what did we get? You got Madame Zoe. Barbie has spread some juicy gossip about Stacy. Why does that not surprise me? Barbie, you're such a bitch. Okay, Skipper, why don't you come take a selfie with the Amachan? And then what can the kid do? Maybe she can get a couple simi capsules. Maybe she can get a new hobby where she collects these things. Also, Skipper, let's check out these vending machines because um, I kind of want to see if there might be an anecdote for Emily's little problem. Oh, crawling critter powder, that's what we need. And you know what? We'll just take a little bit of everything and some kids' boards maybe. And then that way, Emily can get a little bit of relief from her scratching, although I think it looks like it's kind of gone now. Okay, so let's just give Emily a gift which will be the, um, the powder. There we go, crawling critter powder. Emily, how many simi capsules did you buy? Three. We're not made of money, you know. All right, let's just give Emily her little powder. And why don't you open the rest of your simi capsules? What do we get? You got old Gabby. Great, great. And then we'll open this simi capsule. Father Winter. Oh, great success. Is that all of them? You have one more. Buddy. Okay, perfect. Oh, look at her. Just playing. Just playing. Well, it's pretty late. It's 10 p.m., probably the kids' bedtime. So, how about we head back to the accommodation and then we'll be well rested for the Festival of Youth tomorrow? Okay. Good night, you two. Have a great night's sleep. Emily's a grade school C student. I think we're going to have to work on that in the next episode. We'll have to try and get your grades up, girl. And then also in the next episode, I think Skipper is going to re-enroll in university so she can finish her degree. Uh-oh, did you have a nightmare? Why don't you just get in bed with Skipper then, if you're going to be having nightmares? Oh, you can't? Okay, go to sleep in there then. I wonder why she can't get in bed with Skipper. I mean, I know it's another adult that isn't her parent, but I would have thought she would have like recognised that Skipper is pretty much her mum, so it's the same thing, you know. Oh, Skipper's awake. All right, Skipper, why don't you use the bathroom, maybe serve up some breakfast. Just something simple, like maybe some pancakes. Let's just check what time that festival starts. From 10.30 until 6.30. Okay, coo, coo. Oh, she's taking a minute to think about Barbie. Cute. Let me just take a quick look at Skipper's family tree, just refresh myself. Yeah, Barbie's definitely got a bit more going on. 
Oh, Luciano Carson. Try not to start a fire, Skipper. There we go, pancakes for breakfast. Quite simple, you didn't do anything special with them. Why are you swearing? What's your fuck it? What's your problem? Why are you angry? Angering memories. There's plenty of reasons why a hike could have gone bad, but currently all of those reasons are now that Sim's fault. Oh, I guess Emily's blaming Skipper for getting attacked. Bitter about hiking. Never going to trust the hiking judgment of Emily again after a terrible hiking experience. She's a kid, Skipper. Don't be such a bitch. Go and interact with Emily. Make things better. Ask her about school. Give her a hug. She's feeling embarrassed. You're supposed to be the bigger person here, Skipper. Talk to her about her embarrassed mood and become best friends with Emily. There we go. Okay, that's better. The angry hike has changed to deeply connected. Good, good. You having a quick dip in the pool? Don't blame you, Skip. Don't blame you at all. Vacation ending. Yeah, I know. We only have one thing left to do to make the kid happy and then we can go home. In fact, it's like almost 10 o'clock now. We may as well head to that, um, that youth festival. It's probably starting. Doesn't it take place over here? Pretty sure it does. So why don't we just go here? Okay, festival of youth. Here we go. Right, Emily, fill your boots. Why don't you make some full crafts that we can hang up in the house? And then, Skipper, maybe you can come over and just encourage Emily's creativity. How's Emily's skill skills doing? Her creativity's pretty high. She's doing pretty well, actually, for her skills. Well, Skipper, maybe you can grab a couple of uh, ice creams for you and Emily. Maybe get yourself a little strawberry ice cream and then Emily can go get herself one. Did she even get to keep the full crafts? Oh, they just disappeared. Is that Lilith Vator? Aren't you supposed to be, like, hidden away in daylight? Okay, whatever. We'll just get some ice creams. There we go. We got a matcha one for Emily, strawberry one for Skipper. Ah, oh, she's got a confidence boost from being a great teacher. Well, even if you do say so yourself, I guess, Skipper. Why? Where are you going? Why don't you just sit next to Emily? Why do you guys never sit together? What's your problem? Good ice cream? Great. Well, I'll tell you what. You can have a few minutes of experimenting and then we are going home. Okay, Emily is building her mental skill. That's good, because that's the skill she kind of had the least experience in. She's going to be a brainy kid. Okay, well, this has been fun. I hope you enjoyed your trip, Emily. Happy belated birthday. This was your big main present. And uh, I think we should probably call it a day, though. It's time to end our vacation and go home. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.